Welcome to south side of OGHQ. Uh, we are building out this place one step at a time, We've taking a major step forward in getting our product here in this building stored and evolving or taking the next evolutionary step in uh, being able to pick, pack, and uh, ship out things more efficiently. Uh, we're gonna need, continue to need some more humans, but before we just throw humans at it, I wanna make sure that we increase or update our ability to, to process orders and get them out as timely and quickly and efficiently and as obsessed as possible. Uh, so I grabbed the camera the last couple of days. Today's Saturday morning. Uh, I'm just coming here, just putting this video together. We work on a few projects. Uh, but yesterday we got our allotment or shipment of pallet racking that I ordered a month and a half ago that I've been planning on for a really long time uh, on building out this, the remaining part of this building uh, and seeing how far we can take this place uh, before we need to move somewhere else to somewhere bigger. My hope is that we skip all these interim steps and I go from this to buying a bunch of property and then building a larger infrastructure on that property and having the ability uh, on a couple of hundred acres to build the vision I have for, for the master plan that I put together a few years ago uh, for the vision I have of Obsessed Garage as a destination and content content creation and product curation a company that I've stumbled into by chasing passion. So this is the type of video that I make on Inside the Hex all the time. Uh, give you an inside look. Uh, we call this um, Hex Vlog. Uh, I figured I'd publish it here on the main channel, kind of update everybody where we're at with the facility. If you're not a member, uh, I would uh, highly encourage you to go consider becoming one. I'd appreciate it if you did. Uh, it uh, really inspires me to share more personal stuff that uh, I think that uh, YouTube uh, and the viewers, the more casual viewers there, may have a hard time digesting. Uh, I share a lot of inside, insight and inside uh, uh, looks into the business, into my life, into my struggles, into my wins and losses even more than I do here. Uh, and so today's video will be uh, Thursday and Friday of uh, not so much a day in the life, uh, but a day in what, uh, two days of uh, what we did here at, uh, at HQ, as well as uh, building the network at my house, getting that set up. Uh, so anyway, I hope you enjoy this, and I hope you consider becoming a member. Go to ObsessedGarage.com, go on uh, the membership tab, and click uh, Inside the Hex. You can join monthly, annually, or you could become a Hex Plus member and uh, get a discount in the store with, uh, with free shipping. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I uh, hope you enjoy this. All right, good morning. I'm uh, in a late start here this morning. I guess it's not really a late late start if I'm working out. A lot of times, what I'll do is I'll wake up and um, and jump right into, you know, I guess you could call it business. But I like to keep my inbox clean, uh, follow up on comments on various platforms. Uh, again, uh, I talked about this a little bit in the past, but. You know, I'm not making comments on YouTube a priority, but that doesn't mean I'm not reading them and responding when necessary. Uh, I'm just not, uh, you know, if I miss uh, 20 of them, I'm not going to freak out about it. I don't do it first. Uh, and so what I'm doing now, I'll sit here often and uh, edit. I've got Bryce and Mike, which edit 90% of the videos, but I got them working on um, the website today with, uh, with my um, consultant, web consultant, Brad. So the three of them are booked all day to focus on the new design of the website. Uh, and so I'm editing this video to get it up. Uh, I'm going to go out, work out, and then uh, work on the, the air compressor stuff, I think, today. Uh, I'd also like to work on uh, getting the press-all bottles up. So we'll see if I can, I can get that done. Uh, I'm going to make a video on that. Uh, but I'm going to do a lot of vlogging here, especially for Inside the Hex for you guys here the next couple of weeks. I just decided that right now, right this minute, sitting here kind of reflecting as I'm editing yesterday's video. Uh, so uh, let me finish uh, finish editing this. Uh, I edit on Final Cut. Uh, so this is uh, Final Cut Pro X, I think, or Pro, I think it actually is X, not 10. Final Cut Pro. And uh, so I edit on that. I'll export the video. Uh, so let me get this done, and uh, uh, I'm going to go do a quick uh, deload workout, and then uh, head over to the garage. It'll be a late night tonight, I'm sure. All right, I'm going to go put my contacts in. Man, I'm so sore. I think I should, I'm contemplating whether I'd skip 
as I did Tuesday, Wednesday, and I should take off today. I'm just gonna be more sore tomorrow. So I should probably go and do the deload where I do, I do 50 double unders, 800, 50, 800, 50, 800, 50, 800. So running two miles, do 200 double unders. That's kind of my in-between deload stuff I'm gonna be doing. I think I should, I need to just go do it, suck it up. I've also been having issues with heat. So I'm gonna, I bought two fans. Uh, I see you think it's like AC Infinity. So I'm gonna take the, uh, the Monster Power Center, I'm gonna move it up, I think, underneath the center channel and then put uh, the fans on top of there because I'm having it, it's uh, not shutting off yet, but it's uh, clearly, so there's some heat issues. That shelf is not adjustable, so I can't just move the shelf up to add more space. Uh, I guess I probably could take it apart and re reposition it, but maybe the easier thing to do is to move the power center up and move the others so that way the, the Morantz can sit down and I'll put the fans, the component fans on top of each, uh, the amplifier and the uh, and the Morantz and get air moving in there. You got some school stuff no, starting late today? Oh no, Kate made it one day. They had an hour and a half of PE swimming and now they don't like homeschool. There's a lot of PE in this teaching curriculum. Yeah. Hey. Ain't no PE getting canceled in this in this curriculum, no, this household. We're starting the second. We, they did morning work in PE, and now we're starting the second batch. Yay! Before lunch. Other than the pollen, this time of year is amazing. Oh man, I'm so sore. From all the squats yesterday. Dang it! Only one way to get through this is to just do it. Uh, and I'm glad I scaled though, because if I didn't, if I didn't do less weight, I'd be really hurting today. So it looks like we're getting close. We're almost through pollen season. Uh, but today's workout is uh, 50 double unders and then um, uh, 800 meter run. Then, then, then do that, you know, four, four rounds of that. And then I'm gonna mess around with the reverse hyper a little bit, see how that works. And then, uh, yeah, and that'll be the workout for today. Just a little deload, just to stay, uh, stay moving. All right, just got off a call with a Roman from Werther uh, Viac, uh, and so I'm getting all the pricing for all the silence. He's going to get me the oil free, the wobble wobble piston, uh, and the silver three, which is the rotary. So I'll get all the pricing for those. So we can get those built from the store. Uh, also, the the wall air. Uh, or so, so he's getting me uh, pricing on that, and availability should be sometime around May 10th, May May 15th, something like that. So we'll probably do a pre-order on those and uh, have those coming in soon. And, uh, and so now I gotta stop working, start working out so I can go you know, continue my day. So let's do this. Nice, 50 and broke. doing with these I'm gonna figure it out all right we started with uh, 50 reverse hypers I think that should be sufficient with no weight just kind of work up to it improve flexibility uh, my core will get better a uh, part of what the, the reason I heard it is I was moving the darn refrigerator and I kind of rocked forward and I just kept tweaking it over and over again and so I had to lay off from CrossFit lay off from doing certain things and uh, and now I'm going to start to strengthen it back and really focus it in. And uh, it, but I didn't hurt it doing something, you know, lifting or anything like that. It was just moving the darn refrigerator. So anyway, I'm going to go uh, shower, pack my lunch. Uh, probably actually before I pack my lunch, I'm going to see if I can set up this ubiquity thing, and get it at least partially set up, and then Bryce can come over and help me fix it. All right, good. I got my. My uh, UDM, my Dream Machine Pro, and this will be my security gateway, my, uh, I guess, network switch for the main hub, and uh, for all my access points. I'm going to go try to hook it up, but I have no idea what I'm doing, so we'll see if we can figure it out. All right, this room is a gosh darn disaster. I've, uh, I've already, these Bose amps are garbage, so I'm going to be yanking those out real soon. And, uh, you know, I've got my... Cisco Meraki up here, so the Meraki is there. The Meraki is uh, is 
uh, max that 200 or the max throughput is 250 uh, megabits per second and I have gig internet now and so I've really got to get in and clean this this network up clean up all these cables and all that but for now I'm just gonna kind of set this here connect the uh, modem and uh, see what we got it's cool just working through the UI app I have the thing kind of janky just hanging there I'm gonna fix all that in a little bit got these uh, AC pros to replace my other APs because these will pass a gig it's actually really sweet how this thing sets up I think I can do this all right I've gotten absolutely nothing done because I'm freaking five hours into this darn network I call Bryce and tell him to come over here and fix this crap because I've got some of it done but I can't get the nano beam to work and I also can't get the uh, AC Pro to work on the on the Dream Machine, and so I have the AC uh, the ACLR, and then I'm getting 128 megabits per second download. God dang it! So Bryce is gonna come over and fix this. All right, it's 10:20. The network is set up. I just need to get one thing to set up the last uh, AP. Uh, yeah, I didn't video any of it because we were getting the nano beam set up, the stuff outside. So we're getting 540 megabits per second, 100 megabits per second out in the garage, something like that. So, but full upload uh, for which we'll need for the cameras out there. So, anyway, yeah, good stuff. I'm uh, gonna go take a shower. Uh, we'll pick this up tomorrow. Keep rolling with the vlog. All right, good morning. Day two of uh, yesterday was a short part of the vlog. Today's the bigger part, but. The shelving is here. It's seven o'clock in the morning. We never get shipments this early, but we got 10 or 12,000 pounds of shelving and my dad's there by himself. So I'm rushing over there, trying to get everybody else there. We'll get the shelves. This is gonna be a big day. Let's go. All right, shelving's here. Figures. Shipping companies are always unprepared. They showed up without a pallet jack. Pushing the limits. You know, like clear? Clear. How many pallets? Huh? How many pallets? I don't know. 200, 208 pieces, but I didn't have that many pallets. <laughs> Why did I pick it? <laughs> Once we start building, I'm going to start putting crap on the shelves and then the place will transform in like a short period of time. Plus it's air conditioning. I think it's going to be what, 94 today or something like that? Yep. Hottest days on record. Just this one shelf. So much crap. It's amazing how much, how much more stuff that we're going to be able to get in here. Fashion. So I think all of this we've got like a hundred and hundred and four linear feet. I think it was like fifteen grand or seventeen grand shipped for everything. I'll save that much alone in storage fees. We need Mike here. We got a Mike. Mike Figuera to come help us. Put it together. Yeah. How long did it take to put the other ones together? Wasn't easy. Sorry. With all the uh, posts. So we need two of those for the bottom, and then two of the 36 inch posts. For all the Be. 
that they kept the fork left now. <laughs> gonna be pretty amazing once we get like two of these together how much crap we can put on there. We can probably put all these out. <laughs> yeah, good thing we uh, had the cooking up dead. You wouldn't have been waving. <laughs> we could be out there, could we? Oh yeah, we'd be. The first time it was a nightmare, and it wasn't even as much. So, visit, you can say skip, because you don't want to go to the store yet. You can buy things with the, the coins. You coming to help us, Shelly? Yep. Yeah, I was getting them started. I want to take it. Oh, man. This is going to be a bad day. That's going to be a good day when it's all done. Where do you get started? Start by closing the door so we can get tired. Oh, you got two huskies. Nice. How many huskies? Oh, that's a bunch of Why does she have so many? We have a Remember lot. We have more than that. Remember, we were stolen one of them. My dad, in, in retail, he used to just, I used, used to buy to him, all these. I used to buy him a knife awesome. every year for Christmas and put it in a stocking, so he just accumulated all that. Because everyone's like, hovering around like, yeah. what is it, what is it? Oh my gosh, that's so cool. In case you're wondering, I like this shelving much more than pallet racking, because then I can put bottles of things on the shelf without Nice. Yep. Oh, I'm anticipating. Why? Well, I, I did. Say he's way better at this already than me. So I can let these go now, or no? Yeah. Come over here. Okay. So all of these shelves are the same size? No. Oh, okay. And off the wall. Off the wall. Back it, back it up. You got knots? Yeah. You want closer? No. So the bottom one goes to the 20th hole. Yeah, so... Brakes all the way to the floor. My brakes are like that too. Uh, oh, I guess that's an expert. <laughs> young Jeff hit a speed bump at 35 miles an hour and uh, my ABS doesn't work anymore, so. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get that fixed. But yeah, pedal all the way to the floor. In about three weeks, we'll have this all built. <laughs> We've done that before. 17. We built the whole darn thing out to the top. I think it's all. Yeah, we built the whole thing and then had to un take it back apart. What do you do? We reach our maximum height. So in a minute, Johnny, they need you next door. You're needed everywhere. They can't build the scaffolding. They're scared to climb over the edge and grab. <laughs> I said, hold on, Johnny said it a hundred times. Knock that out. I said I'll he doesn't right like back. it, but he'll do it. Give me a little bit. Not feeling very nimble this morning. Did I get you out of bed? No, I just rolled out. You should keep him right around the house. He's like. All right, Charlie, help me. Yep. The big one. All right. Go try to get another ladder set up or something. That's to go seventeen. 
you get the gist of it. Okay, we're already making a little bit of progress. Look at that. Oh, it looks so cool. More shelving. No more. No more bull crap on the floor. I can't wait. So this will we'll go through this pretty quickly. We're gonna look on bright side, shall we? What's that? We got shelves? We got shelves, but I forgot to do the center brace. I was looking at them. This looked a little droopy. So does each shelf have a center brace, I'm assuming? Okay. It's yeah. alright. We're figuring it out on the first one and then we'll get it for the rest. Yeah. Number one, holy crap. Just how much stuff we can fit on there. It's insane, the amount of stuff. That's just one, and we've got like 14 or so more, or something like that. I don't know how many, but it's a lot. Oh, I'm pumped. It's gonna get a lot darker in here. All right, I'm doing good, I'm doing good. Got, uh, got one shelf done. And so what we'll do is we're gonna have one come up to this here. So it should, it should be pretty darn close to that. And then we're gonna have a whole row down here so that it'll, it'll butt up to the corner there. So the corner will be a little funky, but this whole wall is gonna be done as well. So I have to pull the air lines down too. But just do this one step at a time. We got two done, just stuff thrown on there to get out of the way, That's what we're doing. Sad that the shelves already look half full, Matt. And <laughs> And then here's what the other side of the room looks like. All right, there's a path opening. This is, uh, it's about to get claustrophobic in here. Michelle, I think Kate just proposed to me. Oh my gosh, is she bothering you? Is that fun? Bless you. I was just walking by and she's like, will you marry me? Oh, Well, Maddie, what do you think? Real good. Real good. Sweaty. Real, real sweaty. How's your shin? A little bit hot, tired, a little bit hungry. A little bit confused. Okay, I'm gonna take the prevost, the tea down, take the tea out. And then, um, yeah, we'll worry about the hose rails later, but I'm gonna build another, another set of shelves. All right, I got help now. So we're gonna put all the top shelves in here when I get, uh, we can fit the forklift in. But yeah, we got a, we got one more eight footer to put in, going all the way down to the end. I have to get tight in here, but just think of how much we can store going up. So, Matt tricked Ted getting onto the shelf. So Ted's up there. It's a little rocky up there without that thing locking it in. <laughs> Don't fall, Ted. Oh boy. I think that's the one thing you're not supposed to say when somebody's up there. Don't fall, Ted. Don't look down. I'm sure I'm gonna get an email from somebody. You know you shouldn't stand on the top rock of the ladder. Guess uh, what? I'm up here all day. Like a nimble cat. <laughs> They're just like a leopard. Yeah. <laughs> kind of white though. leopard. Ghost of white snow leopard. So rare. Where did mine go? This way. Both of those are He's that leopard that kind of kind of crosses into the side of the mountain. <laughs> rare leopard. He's just sitting there. 
almost extinct. But this means you can't find them. They just came up lost to the side of the mountain. Last of its kind. I'm just a big leopard. Last and only. It's probably like the biggest leopard ever. Pretty good hunter. Boom. He eats pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Someday I'm gonna be a skinny spry leopard. You gotta document this in case Ted falls. We can show it to um, Yep. Now you want this tool? Take that end in. I thought we had room. Spry leopard. It's hot up there, I'll tell you that. Hot, sketchy. A little, a little wobbly up there, you know? A little, a little shake. It's gonna be shake sketchy. Or wobbly. It's gonna be sketchy getting them tops up there. What's the work like? Pardon me, excuse me. No, no, excuse no. Me. Important no. work coming through. Kyle's messing up everything. Alright. Are you doing this, Kyle? Are you good, Kyle? Kyle decided to take a break from emails to uh, screw in, screw, screw in some nuts and bolts. Using the ladder uh, the appropriate way. OSHA approved. Yes. Can you hand me the? Uh... Okay. Listen, if it slides out, it's just the, gonna hit the pallet. The, um, the, what did you call it's it? It's on Swiss tracks. It's not gonna slide. What did you call this is earlier? Gun? The the bolt tightener. Screw gun. The screw gun. I think Matt called it a screw gun for some reason, so I just followed the suit. Right. You follow up the suit with screw gun, but you don't follow up the suit with filling up your phone cannon with soap first. Your network's still working this morning? I don't know. You don't know. <laughs> I woke up and ran over here. Calculations were a little off, right? As you know. Yeah, you gotta like add an inch to anything you do. <laughs> it's like three inches off. We were trying to measure around. That's how that goes. <laughs> <laughs> when you're off three inches. <laughs> you just let it go. You're like, eh, that's probably gonna hold no. It never was there. Ugh, ha! Is that it? Yeah. Oh, I guess I could have left that on the wall, huh? <laughs> <laughs> we did measure it. Yeah. No, because the, the box. The, the box sticks out. So, we'll have to patch this. Put the, uh, I think we'll probably just move the charger down. I don't even know how to do this. Just freaking hoist them up there. Well, this one you don't have to set up top. You just, just go like that. <laughs> 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 Okay, so here's what we got. So six, six eight footers, four six footers, two five footers, all of those with six shelves, and then two 24 or four, you know uh, four foot by 24, four foot by two foot, two feet. Uh, those have eight shelves, and then one. Eight foot and one six foot with eight shelves, and that's what's uh, going to go down the middle. So eight foot, six foot, and we're going to end cap it with our tool group. Mm, Good luck. Somebody climb up the shelf and get over there and walk the back when Matt was scared and get earlier this morning. It's bad day to wear skin jeans.
What's the matter, Kyle? Huh? What's the matter? There you go, Kyle. You gotta get the ones that are flexible. We need to take the cartridge off yeah. for now. Yeah, it's sitting on the shelf here. So our center center shelf is going in here. We got an equal distant 71 inches row here, 71 inches row there, and whatever that is, 80 inches or so is our walkway. Yes. And so that shelf, the shelves in the middle are gonna match these shelves here. They're gonna be eight shelf units, and the ones in the back are six shelf units, and then uh, Ted and Andrew built the, the 24 inch, so that's 24 inches deep, 48 inches wide, and then we're going to pull the pressure washing system out. And we'll have another one there. So we are we are more than doubling our setup. Welp, that's a heck of a darn day. It's about 5:30. I'm, as you can probably see, a little sweaty, man. A couple of freakouts of uh, heights there, and I was got a little ahead of myself. But look at that! So eight shelves, and then remember we've got two more rows of 17 feet long to put on the other side. So you can see what we're working toward here, and to get all of the uh, get all of the air stuff out of here. This will be a packing area. Uh, and then we'll have another 24, 48 by 24 there, by 12 feet high, where the pressure washer is. That's that's the, that's a hard day's work there, people. Oh, man, this is gonna be great. It's a step step two. I guess this would be step eight. Eight of eight thousand. It's the next next evolutionary step. And we have enough. Well, that's be interesting to see how much we actually have, you know, in storage. Like how much we fill in here, and how we change our picking and packing. Okay, so that's a that's a wrap for this video. Uh, let me just give you a walk around tour. Uh, it's Saturday morning. I came in. I couldn't even <laughs> couldn't 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 finish the video yesterday. But um, you know, we still have some chaos going on here. And there'll be more, more coming, more updates. But 
Uh, we um, again we wrapped up yesterday with uh, finishing up the these. This is how this is going to sit. So this will be our staging, our you know shipping and and uh, receiving area. So outgoing, incoming. The soap and chemicals will probably keep on the other side. Uh, but now we have to go through the task of figuring out how to put all this shelving together in the most efficient way, way possible. So what we'll be doing is um, we're going to be pulling from SKU Labs our most sold items and creating an A, B, C pick list. And uh, A's and B's are going to go here uh, and then probably on the 24 inch shelves as well. Uh, we're going to be changing this packing area and uh, once the... Uh, once the virus subsides, uh, then we'll, we'll move the guys back in here and keep tech support, the business, we'll call this the business office, tech support. So Mike and, uh, and Jeff, I'm sorry, not Mike and Jeff, uh, Kyle and Jeff will still stay here. we we'll bring them back in here. Uh, Chris will stay in here running, running the business. We'll be able to continue the podcast studio. And, uh, and then we're going to change how this packing area is set up as well as likely creating another packing station over here in this area where the, the Jenny is going to be coming out. So if you're interested in the Jenny and the Air Rev, I, I will be shipping them. Uh, I'm going to put it on a pallet and ship that out. It's not that I don't like these. I'm still going to sell this product. Um, it's just I, you know, I I like to test things that I'm that I'm offering, and so this will be uh, the stout American-made piston compressor, and then we'll have rotaries and some other. Uh, air rev as well I can source those for you too uh, but I'm gonna be pulling out all the airlines and everything uh, so these will be going next door uh, we don't have any need for, for air any longer any in, in here so uh, yeah this is gonna be another major you know week long or multi week long project uh, to start getting all of our storage unit product in here uh, this way we won't have to have any more any more stuff piling up and sitting all over the place we actually have the the storage units truck here because they're closed it's filled with uh, pallets of stuff um, and so we're gonna we're gonna figure out a system for for storage and what what's the most efficient efficient way to set set this up so all of this here so this is the other 24 inch shelf which is going to go where the pressure washer sits so the pressure washers there we're going to pull that out i'm going to redo it next door we'll have another video series on that uh, but i also have a bunch of others so these other shelves have to go next door uh, i'll show you where we're going to put those here in a second but uh, yeah this place feels very different uh, the other thing i'm going to do is we're going to pull up the floor since we got the forklift the forklift works on it um, but we you know we end up with uh with pallets the issue isn't the forklift it's the pallets. The pallets, a lot of times, will have nails and they'll be broken, and so we, you know, we you, you destroy the floor. And so what I'm going to do is get edge pieces and edge this up and make basically a U shape, and we'll just leave the bare, kind of goofy-looking concrete for for where our pallets come in. Uh, the nice thing about our new storage setup, for at least for a while, until we grow more, hopefully, God willing. Um, is that when a pallet comes in, we'll get it put away. Pallet comes in, we'll get it put away. Uh, we're gonna hopefully be more efficient with packing and shipping than we already are. I mean, we're already hyper efficient, but uh, we're gonna add some automation, add some barcoding, add some other things to the to the mix to make sure that we, you know, can can be as efficient and as quickly moving as possible. So setting up a more efficient packing area we're going to need to get a couple more better or best packs or better pack the uh, tape machine uh, i'd like to get some uh, paper uh, folding or crinkling machines as well instead of pulling paper off the roll uh, and then we're going to add a conveyor as well there's actually going to be a conveyor right down here and we're going to turn how this how this looks uh, so anyway we'll, we'll make some improvements there and a lot of this product here and here is going to change position based on uh, the most efficient picking flow. Uh, we're also gonna add bin picking as well, carts and bins. And so it's tight, but we're, if anybody can do it, you know, a lot of people can do this. My dad will figure out how to make this as efficient and organized as possible. So here's our pallet carnage from, uh, 
from from this week we still have more pallets to, to clean up um, but that's our recycling area out there uh, we don't have a, a dumpster for garbage just for carpet or I'm sorry for cardboard uh, and so uh, I think we'll probably have to get another dumpster at some point. We fill that cardboard dumpster up weekly, so we, we may need to get another cardboard dumpster. But um, the uh, this is the rolling acres, acre storage truck that we have. This will be going out here soon when the the guy who owns the building when his uh, his garage gets done. So we'll have a little bit more parking back there. The new side is coming together. We'll address the entries of both. So we move Mike and Bryce, separate them so they're not hanging out in the same room all day, every day. Um, but this will be some sort of entry. I'd like to probably redo the floors, we'll see. And then we're gonna do some acoustic treatments and stuff in here uh, for, uh, for the media closet or media area. And then this side, uh, so you know, the M5's, M5's chilling here. Um, this side, the pressure washer is going to go here. Let me turn the lights on. The pressure washer is going to go here. So I'm going to use this, this bib. We're going to have to cut this wall apart and re refinish it, um, to do, uh, uh, the custom install pressure washer system. Um, I'm waiting for my oil water separator should be here soon, uh, so that I can complete the install of my, uh, FIAC rotary screw. And we're going to have some, some videos coming up on this on this process of this product and that's the dryer i gotta figure out how we're gonna mount it how we're gonna set this all up over here notice i haven't bolted it to the floor this i don't really feel like we need to bolt it but i'll be talking more about this type of rotary screw compressor and how awesome it is and then i've already taken down a couple of the the hose reels uh, so i'm going to be mounting those up in you know the cornered up positions just like i had on the other side my desk is in production, so um, uh, my friend Mark from uh, from uh, Blue Tree is um, is going to be uh, uh, making a countertop, this seamless countertop uh, for my desk setup with the Sonic MSS Plus stuff. Uh, this is going to be really, really sick. Wait till you see how I how I set this up. Uh, so I got the scaffolding in here, so I can start working on the the airlines here uh, as soon as possible. I'm gonna new press all bottles, uh, new sprayers. I'm really excited. I was ready to throw in the towel, but the next version of the sprayer heads are really great. They atomize like I was hoping. They listen to my feedback, and uh, I think they're really good. Now we just have to torture test them in the wild. And uh, so the other the other shelving is gonna go here. So again, we set up Kyle and Jeff in here to spread them out. Uh, but we have, I have 17 feet of shelving that's going to go here, 36 inches deep, 12 feet high. And then we'll have uh, roughly 70 inches in between, I believe, 72 inches in between. And then we'll have another row of 12 foot as well, 17 feet long, 12 feet high. So this will be more overflow storage. Of course, it's going to take away from some of the openness or the open feel of this. Uh, but it's going to provide us with a ton of ton of storage. So I've got these sonic cabinets that I'm photoing and testing and making sure they're the ones that I want to carry in the store. The S9, S12, and S12 XD. Uh, these are the the toolboxes I'm gonna I'm gonna carry. Uh, I also have the rolling tool cart and then the upper for the S9. There's an actual upper piece, uh, and that's my trunk for the M3 wheels for the wheels and tires for the truck if you're interested in your local uh of the of getting the wheels off of the uh the raptor that are on it now the methods that are on it um i'll be selling those here real soon we got more content coming on the krenzlas and the new mosmatic gun and the comet and ar so we'll be talking about that here soon plus a maintenance series but yeah it's uh it's coming together I'm, i i cannot explain to you yeah, it's coming together. I cannot explain to you how um, how much thought and effort and uh, and and energy we're all putting into this. Uh, I want Obsessed Garage to exist. I, you know, I I, I put a quote up from uh, Carol Shelby. I wanted to read that quote to you. So yeah, I, I'm really excited about this this company, this the this place. Uh, that we're in, the cars that I own and the ones that I'm giving away or selling and making changes on. Just, I feel like I'm just in the right spot. 
Uh, I've made lots of mistakes and lots of choices along the way, uh, learned lots of valuable lessons along the way, uh, and I don't look at any lesson or any change or any pivot as uh, as as a as a really as a mistake. I look at it as a just a step in in the in the evolutionary process of learning and discovering. And uh, we're going through that period right now. Uh, I'm going to continue to to chase harder than I've ever chased in my life. You know, it's staying lucky. You know, my creating my own luck. Uh, and the luck comes in of this that hopefully you you all respond. So I wanted to leave you with this. Uh, I just watched Ford Ford v Ferrari yesterday, and I posted this quote in the uh, in the the, fa- the Sesquarage Facebook group. If you're not a member there, go. It's uh, facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash uh, obsessed garage so I'm, I've been thinking a lot about you know the, the the chase here and what I'm what I'm attempting to create uh, and I think about all the people that I've hired and I think about the risks that we're all taking by uh, one being employed by this thing uh, so the, the people that work here myself included uh, the the risk there everybody's taking a risk uh, by chasing some passion chasing a dream uh, chasing uh, chasing uh, something that uh, doesn't exist so we're all taking risks every day there's no way around it you know risks are part of life uh, and uh, and and I know that uh, that there's a risk that uh, what I'm doing and you know buying a really expensive toolbox it, it is a mistake or Taking a flyer on a on a BMW M5 and building it a certain way is a potential mistake. But I tell you what, I'm certainly having a blast doing it, and it sure doesn't feel like work. And you, thank you all of you for for responding to this 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 stuff that I'm creating and and buying the things and helping helping give fuel to this fire that I have. So. Bryce and Jeff came over on Thursday night to my house after working all day, you know, creating all kinds of stuff, following up on technical questions, and uh, this is how I know I'm on to the right thing. Um, they came over and we uh, hung out building the network. In other words, Bryce fixing all the crap that I screwed up trying to build my Ubiquity network at my house to update it, and we just had I've, I've, I've had such a good time just spending time with people. Um, that uh, that are super interested and, and and something that I'm interested in as well and uh, having the ability to, to create an environment or an ecosystem for guys like Bryce and Jeff and Kyle and Chris and and you know my dad and and everybody else Ted who, who works here uh, creating an environment for them to hopefully be the best that they can be uh, and and they're all taking a risk showing up here every day and doing so and so Bryce and I set up the network and uh, so I was able to watch Ford v Ferrari last night in the home theater I haven't been able to for a while and a quote really stuck with me uh, the quote was from Carol Shelby uh, I'm assuming he said this uh, but uh, I wrote it down specifically I went back and watched it ten times uh, so Matt Damon delivers this as Carol Shelby and says It's a truly lucky man who knows what he wants to do in this world because that man will never work a day in his life. But there are a few, a precious few, and hell, I don't know if they're lucky or not, but there are a few people who find something they have to do. Something obsesses them. Something that if they can't do it, it's going to drive them clean out of their mind. I'm telling you, I feel so fortunate that I've found that for me. Uh, and I hope that uh, this time of change, I mean, Joe Rogan uh, quoted, or uh, quoting Joe Rogan here, where he said, life doesn't have to go back to the way it was before. It, it, it may not. You know, we're all expecting life to just go back to the, to the same way it's been. It may not. But I tell you what, I'm not going to sit around, sit, I'm not going to sit here and wait around for it to, to, to dictate uh, for me. I'm going to chase as safely and as smartly and as efficiently as possible, but I'm going to chase this, and I'm, I'm so fortunate that there are others that come here every day to help me do it, and then I'm so fortunate for you to, to watch this stuff. I'm going to continue to share business and life and wins and losses. Uh, please go consider becoming a member where I talk about this kind of stuff uh, weekly and oftentimes many times a week and uh, and and I appreciate uh, appreciate you being there appreciate you watching this 
Anyway, thanks for watching. As always, stay tuned for more crazy. I got a whole lot more coming, God willing. Catch you soon.